All right, guys, I have done it. I have successfully created, well, sort of, <laughs> a full golden deck. Uh, so, uh, you know, part of Marvel Snap is the collection aspect. And let's be completely honest, what's the point of collecting stuff if you don't get to show it off? So uh, as I uh, casually flex on some of these cool uh, golden variants I've got, I also just want to talk about like the collection system in this game. Um, my thoughts on <clears throat> sort of how easy it is or hard it is to get certain things. Is it really worth it? Um, and some of the upcoming changes that they've uh, announced and my hopes for them. And then uh, we're just going to, you know, mess around with some cool looking cards, show off a little bit of my collection. So hope you enjoy. And this is not your style of content. That's totally fine. But uh, yeah, I'll let me take you along while we put together our full golden deck. All right, so let's start from the top. Um, when I first started playing this game, uh, I kind of fell in love with the Lockjaw archetype. And I just love every card game I've ever played. I've loved being able to cheat big stuff out. So the concept of being able to like shuffle things into your deck and get big stuff out has always really appealed to me. Uh, from the early days of Snap, uh, Sunspot was always like a super, <clears throat> super popular card. So uh, I have a lot of Sunspot variants, as you can tell. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges in this game with uh, getting like cool splits and stuff really has to do with the boosters and i know we all like hate getting boosters out of like packs and stuff and in the collection track but you know without boosters um you can't get cool splits so you really just have to play a lot if you want the good splits of the cards you want and it can be a little bit tough honestly like uh, i don't know if you can see how many sunspots i have here um i literally took Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. So my eleventh split, I finally got gold. Uh, so I have three gold variants now, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I am full on out of boosters. So these couple of new variants I got. Uh, I would love to upgrade this one. This one looks super sweet, but I just don't have the boosters right now, and so. That could be kind of tough because you you if you want to level up and you want to play particular decks um it's tough to get boosters for the cards you want so i would love for them to implement some kind of booster magnet like they talked about um obviously in lockjaw wasp is kind of a, a key card and i do not i missed on a uh, goldback wasp uh, and i am all out of boosters i did get this black crackle which I think of all the crackles, the black one is kind of the least interesting just because it's so hard to see. Like in the collection, you can like kind of see it very, very slightly here, but otherwise it, you'd never know that this was a, a black crackle. Um, so I did miss on the wasp. Uh, I'll keep going. Eventually I'll, I'll get my golden back wasp. But uh, yeah, I'm out of boosters. So like I said, boosters can be kind of annoying to get so we're going to use our golden sunspot as a suboptimal replacement um but yeah my other gold is the green sparkles uh, i kind of like the purple sparkles more uh and then this one is like the rainbow sparkles but yeah okay uh so next we need mr jaw himself there we go Let's see, so how many splits did it take me to get Lockjaw? Lockjaw, I think I got pretty quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six splits. So that's pretty lucky, all things considered. Um, I can't wait to get this guy upgraded, but again, no boosters. Uh, actually, I just looked over and saw that you guys can't see how many boosters I have uh, because of the aspect ratio. But um, yeah, trust me when I say I'm out. Okay. And then, of course, in a Lockjaw deck, uh, the OG big boy that you threw in there was Mr. Thor himself. Um, 
love Peach Momoko. I actually have been waiting for this variant of Thor to drop since like the game dropped. So when he finally showed up in my shop, I, I picked that up immediately. I super, super love the way that Mjolnir looks uh, with this gold back version. Uh, the black glimmer, I think, is also super sick. So uh, yeah, let's throw Golden Thor in. Um, the new the new bill is uh, going to also be super cool. I have not had the chance to upgrade him yet. Let's see, where is he? Beta Ray Bill. Yeah, he's still chilling at, at blue. I got 88 boosters. You guys can't see it, but uh, we'll get him there eventually. But yeah, it takes a long time to get enough boosters to like actually upgrade cards. So Jubilee is another card that I super loved from the very beginning. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight splits till my first gold. And then I got a couple gold backs afterwards. Um, <clears throat> I was trying to keep looking for Crackle. Um, I am not lucky enough to have a gold and a Crackle card at all, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but I do like the way this gold glimmer looks. <clears throat> I also just am a huge sucker for Peach Momoko art. I think all of her art is rad. Um, just like the bubbles popping out and stuff. It looks so cool. So we'll top ju toss uh, Jubilee in there. <clears throat> okay. And then, of course, if you're playing Thor, uh, you need his partner in crime, his confidant, his lady in waiting is uh jane foster um i also waited for a super long time for this jane foster uh variant to come out um i did also think about the ultimate variant but i did not have the tokens to get it so i settled for this one i do like this one a lot uh, I got this one pretty quick. I think with her, I only needed one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So six splits for this one. So as you can see, like with certain cards, um, the gold back was like super fast. And for certain other ones, it just took so long to get. Um, so the variance there is quite high. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> Uh, normally in a um, Lockjaw deck, I think Vision is super popular right now, but back in the early days of Snap, uh, I played a lot of Arrow. As you can see, I have a lot of Arrow variants here. Um, <clears throat> actually, I have this super sick Crackle variant that I like, but I finally did manage to get a Goldback Arrow variant. Um, and I do love this particular variant of arrow. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, so let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten splits to get this arrow variant crackle or the gold, sorry. So yeah, we'll throw that in as our um, kind of vision replacement since it is gold back. And then we get to our uh, on reveal package. So um, with Thor and Jane, uh, I really like running Odin. So we uh, managed to hit. I tried really hard to hit gold on this uh, all father variant of Odin. I think it's super cool. I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for like the mechanical Iron Man -y style stuff, but I never did hit it. And then when I was upgrading uh, the Stan Hip variant of Odin, which I also really like, actually, um, I do like the way it looks when it's animated. Um, I sort of accidentally hit. Oh, I lied earlier. I forgot I had this is a gold crackle variant. OK, so uh, excuse me. Uh, so I accidentally hit this uh, gold back red crackle Stan Hip variant of Odin, which looks super sick. Um, super happy about this one. So we'll throw that in there. <clears throat> and uh, if you're going to run Odin and you're playing Lockjaw, I figured might as well run uh, Dr. Doom as well. Uh, 
I did not have a Doctor Doom variant. I didn't. I never really liked any of the Doctor Doom variants up until the Hellfire Gala version, uh, which I think looks super sick. Um, I really hope we get uh, variant Doom bots at some point, but we'll see. Uh, almost could run as kind of like a pseudo gold back with this gold pattern in the background on its own. But um, I did get pretty lucky after six splits, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, I think that's only five, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, my fifth. Oh, no, sorry. I missed this guy. Uh, so six also. Uh, I got this very, very sick looking golden Doctor Doom. And then for our other big boys, um, I do love Magneto. Uh, great disruption, super solid card. Uh, this mech variant, uh, like I said earlier, super big sucker for mech themed stuff. So I went super ham on this uh, <laughs> Magneto. And I just love the way this variant looks with him like floating in front of his big ass mech there. So um, also, a staple in this deck is Infinaut. And as you can see, it took me a long time to get a Infinaut variant uh, for gold, gold back. Uh, let's see how many splits. I think this might have taken me the longest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so twelve splits before I finally got a golden Infinaut. And uh, I have tapped out on boosters for this. It took me so long. <laughs> uh, so that leaves us two extra cards that we need to fill in here. <clears throat> um, yeah, so normally I'd run like maybe Giganto, but we need something with gold back. So I have a few other gold backs I can throw in here. One of them is this Goldback Iron Man. Uh, so I got this guy after quite a few splits. I really love this Iron Man variant. Um, I think it is one of the coolest. So let's see how many splits I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow, I lied earlier. 14 is the most that it took me to get a Goldback or a card. Uh, so yeah, kind of insane how long it took me to get this and shows you how much I played that card. I actually did used to play Iron Man a lot in Mr. Negative, which was my other kind of like favorite deck when I was first starting out. So yeah. And for our final card, uh, I need one more gold backed card to finally complete my full gold deck. And unfortunately, like I said earlier, I wasn't able to hit the uh wasp which is the one that i would have loved to put in but i happen to have this gold back mystique from uh, a long time ago where i was upgrading mystique so uh we're just going to toss this in to make sure that the deck is fully golded out uh not the most optimal for sure but i finally got enough and i think it it'll do it it probably isn't the best deck out there but it's a pretty solid shell. We got some pretty decent stuff going on here. Uh, I definitely think that it could potentially win some games. So, yeah, when it comes to, you know, this game and its aesthetics. Um, oh, hello, buddy. My kitty cat is here on my lap. Um, I definitely think that the ability to choose our borders would be really nice. Um, for example, uh, certain cards, I think, look much better with particular borders. And if you want to upgrade them to keep them, like, keep looking for other splits, uh, it feels bad to kind of move forward, like, with a particular border. Um, yeah, there's definitely certain cards that I probably won't ever touch. Uh, I think if I sort by quality... Yeah, so like Devil Dinosaur and stuff, like I'm probably going to forever keep this at the red border. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, a couple of these guys, I just think, uh, look super good with the red border and I will probably never touch them, but I would love to keep hunting for additional variants. I think, um, silk is this variant of silk is a fantastic example. I think this red border looks super, super good. And uh, more importantly, I really like the white background. And the moment you split it, this white background turns into that foil. And I think we all kind of agree that the foil background just doesn't look good on certain cards. So I would love to be able to choose some of the cards with additional effects, you know, but on like the default background, because honestly, the default background for a lot of these fits the art style much better. And um, some of the foil backgrounds, it's like sometimes it's OK, but a lot of times it's just distracting. And like, I don't want to look at that, to be honest. I would rather have my cool card effects, but with, you know, default backgrounds. So if they give us the ability to choose that, eventually that would be super awesome. And uh, not to mention, like some of these glimmer flares, it's like I understand the value of like making sure that people keep trying to get splits that they like. But if you could choose from the effects that you've already unlocked and apply them and mix and match in a way that's like, OK, once I've unlocked a particular one, then it's like available to me, then that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, cause then you'd still have to like unlock it, but you could apply kind of the best effects that you've unlocked to your card. Um, so yeah, hopefully that uh, feature is right around the corner. I know they were talking about releasing it soon, but anyway, cool. All right, let's take this bad boy out for a spin. Ooh, Elysium is kind of good for us. We got a lot of big stuff to play. Uh, maybe we can get some extra gold cards down on the board, huh? If we can find a sunspot, that extra energy might be pretty decent also. Okay, we got all the big stuff in hand, which is kind of fine because we can play a lot of stuff. We can either we can even Doom on five, Odin on six. That would be kind of sick. All right, so we're going to pass here again. Um, dude, we could even... Oh, man, I don't think we have space for, like, Jubilee plus... Plus Odin. All right, so we can... Most of our small stuff we can hit with Jubilee. Lockjaw, Thor, Sunspot. Sunspot. Oh, we dodged the Cosmo? That's huge. Okay, we hit Lockjaw. Um, let's see. We can actually Iron Man here, huh? Iron Man into next turn Doctor Doom into next turn Odin. Seems pretty decent. We can also pull the Cosmo somewhere. This is looking like an ongoing deck. Maybe they got like Spectrum or something. Yeah, definitely some kind of ongoing deck. I am Iron Man. Now the question is, do I want to shuffle Doctor Doom? It's either Thor or Infinot. Um, I think it's probably not worth. I could also save Sunspot and shuffle him on the last turn to potentially hit Infinite if I draw Thor next turn. So I'll wait. Mr. Fantastic, Lizard, and Punisher. It's pretty decent. Let's see, plus... Oh man, he gets quite a bit. We drew Infinite. Uh, let's see. I imagine he probably plays Spectrum right, right? So if we Magneto, we pull maybe Cosmo. Let's see, what all do we pull with Magneto? Yeah, so we could probably pull Cosmo 
and deny the spectrum. That would be super spicy if we could figure that out. Uh, and then we can just throw this in to trigger Thor. All right. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can sneak a win out here. Pull one, two, three of these things. And if he spectrums right, then he just gets jammed, right? Oh. Oh. Did we get him? <laughs> Did we get him? Oh, it's an Iron Man, not a Spectrum. Was it a bot? Oh, man. I thought we had him. Victory. Must have been a bot. Oh, I thought we had the spicy play, but we still got there. It's pretty fun. <laughs> man. Everybody wearing their Sunday best. Let's go. Uh, give me Lockjaw. Man, the Mystique is kind of actually uh, pretty troll. <laughs> but uh, hey, we got Lockjaw. All right, Lockjaw turn three into maybe Mystique turn four. Okay with that. I think we Lockjaw mid, right? We gotta. We need bodies in Mojo World. Oh, thank God. Icebox missed on Lockjaw this time. <laughs> that was so tragic last game. Ooh, Mr. Negative. All right, turn three negative is very, very scary. But uh, we'll see if he's got like Jane or something to follow it up. All right, Jubilee, give me something good. Magneto's great. Can we hit Thor? Iron Man is also fine. Totally okay with that. Oh, magic. Okay, all right. That's more time for me. I'm actually kind of okay with that. So do I want to bother playing regular Thor? Uh, unfortunately, Mystique does not work. Um... I have a, I actually guaranteed to draw the hammer by the end of the game if I play Thor. So I actually think it's fine. Plus we soak two energy with Sunspot. Mid's kind of on lock. So we need to win at least one other. Face the might of one yeah. other win. Wong is kind of scary to be honest. Oh. Oh, we could air. Yo, is this coming in clutch? Okay, please. Please let me arrow the Wong on something useful. Uh, we'll save Mjolnir because we just shuffled Jubilee and that's whatever. All right, please. Please. Let's go. Black Panther. Oh, man. That is not... That is not enough, sir. Okay, so he gets... If he... Uh... So he goes to 20 in the other lanes. Oh man. Wait, 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 We do it again with Odin. And the Black Panther gets pulled and uh and then his Artem Zola misses. Wait. Alright, let's do it. He snapped. We're just gonna do it again. <laughs> he can't retreat because he snapped on the last turn. You can't snap and retreat in the same turn. Are ye worthy? All right, pull, 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 pull. Oh, I could have gone mid to double. Oh man, please. Union, to me. Okay, Zola misses. Null misses. Mystique. Oh, we got him, boys. <laughs> what a game. GG. Victory. Yo, Golden Arrow coming in clutch. <laughs> that one's pretty good. All right.
I knew it. I knew we just needed one more. We got it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you guys think about the collection system in the comments. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff. So catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging. Peace.